Alright, so I went and did a little bit of shopping today and found out that I had like two choice, well, three choices in my town. One was a generic Cooler Master one, which was like just super mini and not made for these at all. The other was a water cooler, and then I found this one, which is a generic Rocket Fish, which is a Best Buy brand. Universal CPU cooler. It's got one fan and heat pipes. Said, so, yeah, that looks like it'll actually be pretty boss and do the trick. So I went ahead and got it. It's like 22 bucks. I did get an email from AMD saying that if I wanted a stock cooler, I could email them about it and get one. So that shouldn't be an issue as I just went and got one. <laughs> but they said their reasoning for that was some people have benchmarking ideas. And with their benchmarking ideas, they said, well, let's leave the cooler out and let them decide which cooler they want to use. Them being the testers. Which, yeah, that's kind of cool, but I was hoping to be able to show it off at stock. As that's what most of the people that want these is going to try to do with them, mostly. Just try to do it with a budget and be like, hey. So it came with thermal paste. It's generic rocket fish. But because it's fancy and whatnot, I'm going to use, since I had some left, some Arctic Silver 5. I got it when it was really cheap at one point, and I still have some, so why not use the better stuff than the generic stuff? That's my opinion. This is going to be complicated because the way this thing works is there's this, and it goes in crossways. And the other side goes on that and down. There is a plastic film on the bottom that says, please remove before you go and do something stupid. Okay, so it is going to do what I thought it was going to do, which is weird. We're going to go down to the motherboard now. And since this thing is made to go like this, through it, it actually goes between it, it's going to want to sit like that. So it's actually going to... Nope, that's right. I'm looking at the board wrong. I'm derping. That's cool. I mean, I look This worked fine for me earlier. Nope, put it on the right way. I didn't want it to go. Of course, of course. Second time's always the charm. There we go. Alright, where'd my thermal paste go? Put that like right here. Take the thermal paste, do a bit of rice. I'll put the cat back on first. Peel off the bottom, sticky. 
Actually, I might want to clean that. Ah, eh, that's fine. TPA fan sits that way. And since it pulls in, I'm going to have it pull in from the back of the case. And blow out the front. So it's going to go on something like this. And then, wow, lock it. All right. Then, after you run it a few times, it will actually even out the thermal pasting so it's not a problem put that back over there so CPU fan connector power fan Air CPU fan. Right up there. So in theory, this is now ready to go, just like that. So, now there's a CPU cooler on it. Fan is plugged in. There's actually power buttons right here, so I could technically power it on and see how it does, but I'll hold off on that. There, there's the installation of the CPU cooler on the AMD 6800K APU. Stay tuned for other videos coming soon. Next, I'm going to just go ahead and throw it in the case. Um, I'll probably record that, but it's not going to be cut or anything, so it's probably going to be pretty long. I might cut it. I might do some speed swipes or something. I'm lazy. Whatever. So, watch me if you like. If not, whatever. Cool, whatever. Don't matter to me. This isn't for my gain. It's for yours. Just remember that. <laughs> We're all interested in the APUs, but I'm sure most of us know how to build computers by now. If not, I wouldn't look to me to learn how to build it. So, later guys. Catch you soon.